Pisces, Everlong Mystic here, and today I'm going to do a reading to see what kind of messages come through from ancestors for you, and I am going, it's kind of going to be like a heart-based, um, heart path message. I have already pre-drawn, pre-shuffled and drawn a heart path card, and these cards are just chock full of symbolism. This is what the deck looks like. And we're just going to get started here, just to see what heart path messages come through from your ancestors, kind of like what your ancestors are helping you with or what, what you need to know. And um, Pisces, right away when I got this card for you, uh, it just it just looked very Pisces to me. Um, first of all, it's called, I don't know if you can see it here, it's called The Critical Moment and Follow Your Intuition. And um, there, there's a lot, I mean, Pisces, uh, you, I always think of, of intuition, psychic, you know, abil abilities, I guess, if you want to call them abilities. Um, but the first thing I notice here on this card is I'm drawn to this cracking egg. And inside this cracked egg, can you see? Inside the cracked egg is... <clears throat> is kind of like the the cosmos it's it's a spiral and it's basically reminding you to just allow yourself to go to go with the flow of the way your life is unfolding and this blue jay here this blue jay is saying that you are going to be noticed for something whatever whatever you're doing whatever you're working on you you are going to be noticed and he's holding a little worm here and that worm is it like the infinity symbol or the number eight and the the earth worm it's like so it's it's going to be whatever you're working on whatever whatever you're working on is what you're going to be um specifically noticed for Oh, and the nightingale. There's a there's a little nightingale here, and nightingales are known for you know being being just a beautiful singing bird, and pu putting all, all that beauty and and just just like wowing people with with the songs and the singing and what they create. But um, nightingales are pretty. Sh they're actually pretty shy birds. So there might be something that that you're going to discover within yourself that um, that people really admire and are really attracted to, and you've just been you've been kind of shy about it. Whatever whatever it is, you're gonna find it within. You have to trust the the voice within. Trust your intuition because your intuition is gonna lead you to whatever this is that you're gonna be noticed for. And as far as ancestors go, you have you have a team. You have a I mean they're watching. I mean there's an eye right there. They're watching over you and they're helping you and they're helping you by by signs. Um nothing is coincidence, Pisces. There there's no coincidence when it comes to help from your ancestors. We're talking signs, we're talking synchronicities. Um that that's how they're coming through for you signs and synchronicities very important to trust your inner voice oh okay let's see let's see what else here okay ancestor messages what does pisces need to know well i kind of let that one fall i didn't feel Okay, what does Pisces need to know? Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces.
before I look at those, I want to point one more thing out on this card. So, in the background, <clears throat> there are several mountains. There's mountain, mountain, mountain. And, um, it's saying that there are, there have been several mountains in your life that you've had to climb. And your ancestors want you to know that you are, <clears throat> you are approaching the summit. You are approaching the, the summit. And you are going to find that special awesome that special awesome thing that that attracts people to you if you haven't already found it wow it's like <clears throat> you're you're approaching the top of the mountain you have ascended to the top of the mountain and your heart your heart path message is that you are here you are here, part of this, this nightingale for you, your inner nightingale is for you to, <clears throat> to help everyone ascend to a level of heart-based consciousness. That's, that's what your ancestors are helping you with. You're helping others ascend to heart-based consciousness. Okay. Accepting what is. So this is about accepting and embracing your inner majesty. And this reminds me this reminds me of the of the, the cosmic spiral inside this egg here. Just like you accepting what is, going with the flow, paying attention to those those coincidences, those coincidences, those signs from your ancestors, and just go, kind of going with it, and definitely trusting, trusting your inner voice. You are where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You've seen what you've supposed to have seen. You've conquered what you were supposed to conquer. Yeah, letting go. See, this is. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. <laughs> Pisces, there's your fishy Pisces. <laughs> the ebb and flow of life. So these these are like the same the same message. There's something about that cosmic spiral that your ancestors are really stressing to you, Pisces. Okay. So let's get a, we're going to get a native, <clears throat> native spirit card, because they are always really good for ancestor messages. Okay, native spirit for Pisces. Native spirit for Pisces. Ancestor message for Pisces. Ancestor message for Pisces. Oops. Huh, sound of the wild. Speaking of nightingale. So we have Song of the Wild here. <clears throat> so this, of course, to me, relates directly to the Nightingale. You are meant to sing this song. You are meant to do this thing. You are meant, you are meant to, to help activate people's heart centers. You are help, you, I mean, you're, you're here to help people ascend. You're here, you're here to activate people's ability to have a heart-based way of life or a heart-based way of thinking, heart-based way, heart way of being. And look at this rainbow energy connecting directly to the sun. So beautiful. You're like a rainbow bridge for people. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces.
You may not think that you can do this. You may not think that you're capable. But your ancestors say that's not true. You know, this could be why <clears throat> you could be fighting. You could have an internal fight going on. Not, um, maybe that's why they're accentuating the spiral. This is accept accepting the flow, accepting what is, letting go. You may not be letting go. You might, or it might just be challenging for you. That's probably why your ancestors are are kind of bringing this bringing this home. It's so it's okay. You can't. You can let go. You can let go. They're telling you it's okay because look, Song of the Wild. And, and you're going to be noticed, Pisces. You will be noticed. Blue Jay will make sure of that. You may need to go back and look at past projects. <clears throat> there might be something that you started a while back that you dropped or didn't finish or kind of just put aside and forgot about. You might need to go back and look at something from some kind of project that you worked on that you were inspired to do in the past and you kind of let it go by the wayside. Something about finishing what you started or revisiting what you started in relation to what, um, what you're going to be noticed for. That's too many. I only want one or two cards, please. One or two cards. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Ancestor messages for Pisces. Mm. Son of Pentacles. Yeah. It is about something that you started before. <clears throat> There's something from the past that you were working on, and it was in the beginning stages. And it had to do with, um, it's, it's a pinnacle, so something, some kind of relationship you were working on, some kind of pet project you were working on, some kind of, maybe a career change, or, you know, something like that. And you put it down, you put it down, it could have been because you didn't think you were good enough. You didn't think you were able. I don't have the skills. I, I can't do this. It's not me. Everyone's better than me. There's no. How can I succeed? Or you know stuff like that. Maybe you were kind of letting letting it tear you up a little bit. But whatever. Whatever this was, it's. It's it, you need to revisit it. There's something in it. It's either maybe not the exact project or so. Like, something, something about the inspiration for that project is important. Whatever it is that you put down, there's something in there that's for you. Because it was the beginning of something. It was the beginning of... There's something in there that you're going to be noticed for. Because it's, it's the Blue Jay saying you're, you're going to be noticed for something in regards to a past project that you have to revisit. So there's something in, I don't know if it's the entire project or, but it's about putting yourself out there. It's about putting yourself out, th out there and it, and it does involve helping people ascend to a heart-based thinking or way of being, something like that. Very interesting, okay. Let's get a last final little message for Pisces. Maybe <clears throat> some words of wisdom or encouragement or just something to seal the message in. Ancestor message for Pisces. Ancestor message for Pisces. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we have a, this is really cool. I love this picture. 
Alright, this one says, I'm honest with myself and others. And you know, you're, I'm honest with myself, that also reminds me of you just <clears throat> recognizing the truth in when you get messages from your higher self. But it says, and others. I feel like, like this feeling right here <clears throat> is you telling, like, kind of not telling yourself lies, but kind of, kind of, um, shooting yourself in the foot here. Just be honest, you know, honest with yourself. Even if you start things that are new, you're not going to be the best of the best of the best, sir. Um, right at the beginning, you know, <laughs> it takes time. And then we have here, ooh. Is that a dog? That looks like you can. I don't know if you can see it. There's looks like there's a shadow of a dog looking at the moon. It says, "Every day I bring radical self-love to my mind, body, and spirit. Self-love, super important. Your ancestors don't want, don't want, they don't want to see this. They they don't want you to go through this. It's not even necessary. It's it's about self self-love." Because when you heal yourself, you heal others. Awesome. All right, Pisces. Man, this is this was super interesting. I hope you liked it. If you did, um, click the like button. And if you know another Pisces that may need to hear this, please share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And uh, this was really cool. Thanks, Pisces.